I'm at Super Judge and I'm so excited and glad to bring God's word to you today. Now, I, I don't take this lightly. Now, the Spirit of God will trust me to bring forth His words to you. And so I pray in my heart that you will receive it with the same attitude that He is releasing it from His own heart to you. So let's do the first thing the Lord commanded us to do on this broadcast. Are you ready? Say this with me. Say, Father. I receive today my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And Father, we honor you for this time to bring forth your truth. Anoint our ears, Lord, that we may hear your voice. And we will receive a word in season to move us to the place that you have ordained for us in this season. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I rebuke everything that interferes with the peace of everyone watching and listening to me right now. I curse that thing and I command it to stop now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Lord. Amen. Praise God. Now we have been, we, we started yesterday talking about count it all joy praise god and i'm reading from james chapter 1 and verse 2 he says my brethren count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation you know only god can talk like this praise god and yeah only god can tell you things like this count it all joy count it holy that's what the amplifies say a joyful thing not some part of it every part of it counted joyful praise god it's 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 a joyful thing that this is going on it's a joyful thing you know someone someone you woke, woke up and realized that someone has cheated you and then you're like how did this happen hey he says hey count it a joyful thing see now Thank you, Lord Jesus. I was explaining something to you yesterday that what God is looking for when you look at it, because it says in verse 3, he says, knowing this, that the trying of your faith will work at patience. So, next verse says, but let patience have her perfect work in you. It says, but let patience have a perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire, one thing, nothing. Ha, huh, hold on now. Mm. It's a joyful thing because the trying of your faith is working out patience. And now he says, allow patience to fully walk so that you, so that you will be entire complete, full. Let me read this from the Amplified Classic. It says, but let, now he used the word endurance here, but let endurance and steadfastness and patience have full play and do a thorough work. Did you see that? <laughs> it has got to do a thorough work. You've got to be tested in every way to show that really patience in this me Patience is fully in operation. So that you may be perfectly and fully developed with no defects, lacking nothing. I told you yesterday and I closed with that yesterday that God wants to test you for patience. The reason is this. If patience is lacking in your life, you will not be able to contain what God wants you to contain, what he wants to give to you. It don't sit properly to collapse. Now, we, we, we had a, a, a tragedy in the city of Lagos recently. If you 
days ago of a building that collapsed and a multi-level building. And now the engineers will tell you something must have been wrong with the structure. And you say, but why didn't they know? Now, when you're building, you actually do certain level of testing. And it requires patience to do all those tests. Because you, you get to each floor, you want to erect new pillars, you've got to do cube tests, you've got to do um, the reinforcement testing. You, you've got to be sure. Now, someone who's just in a hurry, say, look, just, just go ahead, just go ahead. Because this testing takes several days. So, but look, we, we have time. We want to beat time, you know. I want, to, I want this building to be ready on my next birthday. And, then, and I say, look, we, we need to take this test. And this test is going to take 21 days. What? 21 days? So we can't work for 21 days? Uh, yeah, because we have to wait for the result. Ah, ah, no, 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 no. Please, 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 please. Forget that thing. I know what we're doing. See, now you didn't allow patience to have her perfect work. So you just went ahead and now look, just, just continue, just continue, just continue. When the test comes to meet us where we've reached. And then the test result comes and then there's a problem somewhere. You look at where you've gone. You can't correct that mistake. Because if you want to correct it, you're going to lose a lot of money. So God now knowing this, before he lays the next level or layers of your life, he wants to test for patience. So now he's told you all these beautiful things. And he's told you about this girl that you, you believe he wants you to marry. And he's told you so many beautiful things about her. And like, whoa. And then you, you are set to marry this girl. And few weeks to the marriage, some things come up to test and challenge that, those things that God has said to you concerning that person. And now you're looking at this person and wondering, am I sure? Am I sure? Now, what's going on? Patience wants to do her thorough work. So, your faith is now challenged. The substance all the things God have told you is now challenging. You're looking at this person and wondering. Or maybe it's a business. God said, go into this business. And then you took the first step and everything collapsed. And now you are wondering, did I really hear God? Did I really, really hear God? So you're wondering, should I go on or should I give up at this stage? But then he's telling you here that it is patience. Now, what's patience really doing? It's testing. Test again. Are you doing this thing because God said so? Or are you doing it because you have your own personal interest? Because, you know, sometimes we don't know when these things happen. God will tell you, marry this person. And then you, you, you love the person. You, you look at this person. Oh, she's actually a beautiful girl. Oh, he's actually a handsome guy. Oh, he's got some money. Wow. Wow. You know? And maybe, maybe you're the lady now. And, and then you look at the person God says you should get married to. And then he smiled at you. He's, he's coming around. And then he's, you know, and then you look at him. He's handsome. He's got some money. He's got a good job. Wow. Okay. Wonderful. It's okay. Thank you, Lord. All right. And then you, 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 he, he, he comes, he proposes. Wow. I mean, you don't have to waste anything. I mean, I, I, I already know. I saw you before you came. Okay, goody. So that you guys are planning towards the wedding. And then suddenly he lost his job. And suddenly things begin to go down. Oh Lord, you said when we'll get married, we'll live a glorious life. Are you sure this is the guy? Now, if you make your decision, you have to look at the whole thing. So you're not asking, so, so what's your plan now? What are you going to do? You say, I really don't know because I was banking on my next month's salary. You know, that we used to rent 
house that will stay after the wedding. So the salary is not coming. No, it's not coming right now. I've lost my job. So what are you going to do? I really don't know. So where are we going to stay? I really don't know right now. In fact, I don't even know what to think right now. And then you, sister, you are now beginning to wonder, say, ah, hey, it's like this one is so foul. What about the things God said to you? You see, though you heard the voice of God, you were placing your mind on the physical things instead of placing your mind on the words that came to you. You see, heaven and earth will pass away, but God's word will never pass away. So now you are looking at the physical thing and patience have come to do a solidification work in you. And then you look and say, ah, if this guy doesn't have a job, he doesn't even know what to do right now. Two weeks down the line, since he lost his job, he doesn't seem to be making any move. Come, brother, I think we should postpone this wedding. We should really think it through whether this is really, really the will of God. Can we just change the date of this wedding? You may call it smartness, but you failed the test for patience. You see, what patience would do in such a situation is to go back before the Lord and say, Lord, there's a setback. But this is what you said to me. This is what you said to me. This is what you said to me. And in that place of contemplation and prayer, you will bounce back. You see, that's how David encouraged himself in the Lord. You'll be the one that will tell him, look, brother, this is what God told me about us. And suffering was not part of it. Oh, I remember when. <laughs> Perfect example. Because it's personal, so I'm not telling you um, stories. You know, after the Lord had told me, this is my wife. And then we, we, uh, I had told her. So we were working on that. And then suddenly she began to tell me, oh, she experiences some pains, you know, around her abdomen. So it kept continuing and continuing. And we, we got like, okay, go check, go, go see the doctor and check it. So they went for a scan and then came back and said, oh, there was fibroid uh, there. And now that was the first shock as it, okay? Now these are things I was not expecting. There are some things you don't really, really keep your mind on or think or expect. Now it's different if the, the situation has been there before you got in there, but now you, everything looks smooth, everything looks fine. And then I remember the, 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 the doctor, or was it doctor now? The person who checked her had told her, is that your fiance? She said, yes. She said, don't tell him. Because most men, when you tell them these things, they run away. And she said, okay. And the next day she calls me in. She said, please come. I got in and told, repeat everything you just said to him. Now she told me this later that, that to her, that was going to prove if I really hate God. If I get up all of a sudden and say, hey, it is well, let's, let's pray again. And she, she told me that she was not going to think twice about it. It's like, it's okay, fine, I move on. Now to me also, now it do, doesn't mean, see, that's the mistake some people make. I don't care, let's, let's just go on. No, no. I went back to the Lord, not to ask him again. I went back and I said, Lord, you didn't speak to me concerning this, but this is what you have said to me. So what's the plan? Is there anything you want me to do? I wasn't thinking, Lord, should I still go ahead with this? No, but you see, you need to know, is there anything that needs to be done right now? And then the Lord said to me, go ahead. You will not have a problem giving back to children. That's what the Lord told me. I said, yes, sir. See, I needed to, see, this is it. When your faith is challenged, don't run away from it. Get more faith. Get more substance. How do you get more substance? Get more words. And it's the attitude to which you approach God that will give you more words or leave you confused. If I had gone back to the Lord and said, Lord, should I still go ahead with this marriage? 
Now, I'm approaching God with doubt in my heart. I'm telling you, he may not even listen to me. He may not say nothing to me. He will look at, because when patience is working, it is your mind that God is looking at. He's checking to see what is in your heart. So at that point, if you don't come out clear with what is in your heart, he won't say anything to you. Because when patience is working, patience is like an exam. When the exam is given, teacher that have taught you have nothing to say to you. Teacher, teacher will turn the face this way. Ah, hey, I'm in trouble. Yeah, proof that you heard, proof that you learned, proof. That's what patience does to us. But when you come with the right attitude, the same thing with your teacher. If you got difficulty in that exam and, and you're putting to work what you know, and then you say, sir, it seems I'm getting four. You know, I just, the teacher will give you an, an expression that is like, hmm, 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 hmm. like, okay. But like, it seems I'm getting for, um, maybe it's supposed to be four. I, I don't, you now go, I don't know if I ever, if you ever taught us this thing. Just gonna look at you and just turn the face away. Is that what you're going to be saying now? <laughs> so, listen, allow patience. To fully walk in you. And I'm going to, we're going to go into how you count this whole thing joyful. Praise God. Our time is up. Father, we give you praise. Because when our faith is tried, patience will be found in us. And patience will have her perfect work in us. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.